recordings is Ian from RTO and as with the recordings get going on it's getting darker here I think it's gonna absolutely tip it down in a minute um, it started off bright and breezy when we start I started recording today but it just gets rather darker anyway today's retro ranking keeping on with the American theme um, I'm we're gonna look at um, US sitcoms and as I said, I've said that um, some of them I never really got. And there's a mixture here. There's songs that I like, and the, but the sitcom I didn't. I, well, there's one that's on that, but the rest of them are really, really good. So here we go. Number 10. This um, is a fantasy sitcom, and it's was created by Sid and Sheldon that starred Barbara Eden and Larry Hackman, J.R. himself. So you all know it is. It's I Dream of Dreamy, Genie. I remember this as it used to be on when I was a kid. And I thought it was brilliant because it was sort of when uh, Dallas was big. And then you saw, God, that's J.R. It was really, really funny. I mean... It was composed by Hugh Montenegro, Richard Weiss, Nelson Riddle. It's just a quirky little tune. Um, 139 episodes, five seasons. And it's about a genie, a 2,000 year old genie, and an astronaut called Larry that Larry played. Um, and it had her mother was in it, her mother was on that as well. The, she was funny as well. And in the end, she falls in love and they eventually marry. It's It was a really good little series with a great little tune. Very 60s. And um, a lot of fun. I did like that one. Okay. Number nine. This. <laughs> this goes back a few years. Uh, it was a cartoon in a in the New York paper, and it's the one that goes diddle dun I can't do it now because of my fingers, but diddle dun Of course, the Adams family, um, the thing. Yes, um, I love this. Um, this is from the black and white 30 minute TV series of the 60s. It ran, I think there was, it ran from 64 to 64, six, 64 episodes. Had the films, which were fun. I've seen a stage show. I'm a big fan of the Atom family. Um, it's classic, that clicking fingers. I do like the movie versions as well. It's, I'm a bit of a fat and family fan, as I said. And, uh, it's a quirky little trick track. And you, when you when when I saw it on the stage, when they did doodle did um, everyone in the audience clicked their fingers. It was quite fun. Okay, number eight. Now I remember this as a kid. Uh, it's an absolute belter. One of the funny ones. Uh, uh, it was Taxi. Theme music was composed by Bob Chain. Bob James. I just love that. Do, 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 do. Great series. Um, aired from 1978 to 1982. But it gave us some great actors that we first was introduced. We had Judd Hirsch, who played Alex Riga, Bobby Wheeler, Jeff Conway. Elaine Nardo, Mario Henna, Tony Banter, Tony Danza, the Reverend Jim Ignakwoski, the brilliant Christopher Lloyd. It introduces us to uh, Danny, Tavuta, Danny Tavito, who played Louis, and then the, one of my favourite characters, Andy Kaufman's Lack, Lactar. Absolutely brilliant. I love this series. It was one of the funniest um, sitcoms from America. Uh, I just love that flute and sax together and it just introduces some great uh, characters. Okay, number seven. 
Now this has got fond memories for me. Um, I used to sit and watch this with my granddad. He loved this. Uh, and it's Hogan's Heroes. Composed by Jerry Fielding. Uh, it's about uh, a group of uh, American air pilots that were in a prisoner of war camp. Uh, 168 et episodes, ranked from 65 to 71. They used to, they used to rerun this, and I used to sit and watch this with my granddad, and uh, we had we loved this. Our favourite character in this um, was John Banner's character of Hans Schultz, the Sergeant of the Guard. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, Bob Crane starred as Hogan. Uh, and there was uh, Werner Kempler who played Colonel Klink. He was so gullible, but he played the part so well. It's got that, the theme tune itself, it's got that very military World War II thing. Um, wonderful uh, piece of music. Um, but me and my granddad love this. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, number six. Now, I never liked the the show but I do like the song now the show is the Wonder Years it's one of these coming of age comedies I just didn't get it it ran from 88 to 93 and it was a Fred Savage was on it who played Kevin Arnold but it was the theme tune that I loved and it's Joe Cocker's with a little help from my friends that's all I'll say it's a brilliant version of that Beatles song and I actually prefer Joe Cocker's <laughs> I don't know why but um, I never liked the program it's a bit self-indulgent and I'm not into that sort of sort of comedy it it was uh, not for me I mean I know the uh, Americans love that sort of thing but not for me okay number five probably one of the greatest American comedies ever it was originally a film starred the late great donald sutherland and it's mash the song was written by johnny mandel suicide is painless um and mash of course stands for the mobile army surgical hospital we had the film that came out in the 60s and then from 72 to 83 256 versions versions uh, se uh, series of episodes, brilliant, um, brilliant stuff. Um, it, in, we had some great characters. Uh, Alan Alda and Wayne Rogers played Benjamin Hawkeye and Pierce and Trapper. You'd got Frank Burns, Larotta Sweet were in it. Hot he Lips Hulihan. Um, Henry Blake, uh, so these people's look, uh, thing. You got Radar, Klinger, <laughs> the one they used to dress, cross dress to get out, and of course Father John McCarley. Oh, what a thing! And I love this song. It, you know, it, it got to number one here in the UK in 1980. Brilliant series with a brilliant theme tune. I do remember watching this. And um, when it's ever on any TV sh channel, if there's an episode on, I will sit and watch it because I just think it's so funny. Okay, number four. Now, this one goes back to my childhood. R the song's written by Maxie Friedman and James E. Mounted. Myers, and it's Monday, Tuesday, happy day. The Fonz. Hey! Brilliant little series, this one. Ran for 10 years with 255 episodes. I love the tune. Very 50s. Introduced some great people. Ron Howard played Richie Cunningham, who went on to be a director. Tom Bosley was in this, who played Richie's dad. It also brought us... Susie Quattro played, was in this, wasn't she? Yes. Brilliant show. Uh, very funny. 
and uh, it's a great theme tune. Okay, number three. This is one of them sitcoms. I hated that. I just couldn't find why people like this. But it had one of the best opening theme tunes. It was by the Rembrandts, and it's I'll Be There For You. So it's the theme from Friends. Written by about 50 million people. It was a bit of a moralistic thing. That's probably why I didn't like it. I just didn't find it funny. But I do like the um, theme tune to it. Um, that's all I'm going to say on it. It was just... The um, theme tune was the best thing about it. Okay, number two. I love this. Composed by Ira Newbourne. And it's a theme from Police Squad. Oh. Only made six episodes. And it ran in 1982. Created by David Zucker and Jim Abrams and Jerry Zucker. Starred the magnificent Leslie Nielsen as Frank Drebin. A spoof of police procedures and many other television shows. Oh, there was lots of the usual ga sight gags, wordplay. Cancelled after six episodes, but of course then they went and made the Naked Gun film series. Incredible piece of music. Every time you hear it, you just see that cop car. And on this TV sh show, they always used to have a guest that got murdered. <laughs> Never in the show, but they could see them getting killed. There's a great clip where you got someone that used to say, starring Abra played Abraham Lincoln. It was sitting in the thing. Someone shot at him and he gets behind the thing. and sh Ah, uh, just an iconic piece of music. Everybody loves this. Ah, <laughs> oh, absolutely brilliant. But my number one. Um, this used to be on in the summer holidays when I was growing up as a kid. Uh, it was actually written by Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart. And it was about four American boys in a band trying to become famous. It ran from September 66 to, to, 19, to 1968. And of course it starred David Jones, Mickey Dolenz, Michael Nesmith and Peter Tork. It's a theme from the monkeys. I love this. I love the monkeys anyway because they were not, although they were actors, they were very good musicians as well, especially um, Michael Nesmith, who was a good guitarist. I love that, here we come. Just a brilliant piece of mu music. I loved it. Uh, used to watch this. And um, it's one of them series that if I ever see it, I'm going to buy it. Because <laughs> I, I, it brings like so many memories. And I love that track, Full Stop. So there we have... Uh, my top 10 favourite sitcom films from America. But I have got some honourable mentions. And this one, um, the song is by Gary Portnoy. And it's called Where Everybody Knows Your Name. So everyone knows what it is. It's Cheers. Um, ran from September 82 to 93 of May. 275 episodes. Bass runner, bar owner, part by Ten Danson, Sam Malone, who was a relief pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. So many memories of this. And then I've actually been to both bars in Boston. We've been to the one where they used for the outside, Matt, Dave and I. And we've been to the, the one that set out like the set, um, where I nearly but. Uh, bumped into Carla <laughs> the real life thing yeah um, some great characters in there Norm sat in Norm's seat Coach Ernie who sadly died and they did it in the thing it just was thing Fraser you know the character Fraser came in this and he had his own series this has got to be one of my favourite um, sitcoms it's so everyone can relate to it it's just a 
brilliant, brilliant piece of music and a great show. Okay, the next one is was composed by Perry Botkin Jr. And it's the first time we really saw this genius. The show ran from 78 to 82. And it was a spin-off after an episode of Happy Days called My Favourite Orcan. We know who it is. It's Mork and Mindy, Robin Williams. Um, absolutely brilliant. Uh, and of course, Pandora played Mindy. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, when you look at it now, so much of that was just Robin doing what Robin did, just ad living and improvising. He was such a, a thing. There's one is one of my favourite American co comedians, Robin Williams. He was just fantastic. Such sad that he, he took his own life. But um, he's left us with so much fun. And um, this is where it really started for him. And I do like the tune. It's a bit... It's a very quirky little 70s tune, isn't it? But uh, it's got Nanu Nanu Shazmot. Nanu Nanu. All that wonderful stuff. And my last one is actually very similar tune to the first one we did, I Dream a Genie. But this was done by Harold Greenfield and Jack Keller. And when you listen to this theme tune, it has the little noise that you know what it is. It's that twitching nose of Bewitched. Uh, ran from 64 to 72. Um, another brilliant song. Liv Liv Elizabeth Montgomery played Samantha. That was a little secret, folks. When Dave was a young lad, he had the hots for her. Mm. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> uh, also starred... Uh, I think Angus Moorhead as Samantha's mother. Oh, she was brilliant. You had two people play Darren. Uh, Dick York played him from 64 to 69. And uh, Dick Stargent from 69 to 72. Absolutely brilliant show. The theme tune is that thing. In the opening credits, the cartoon bit was fun. And the little wiggle of the nose. Um... I used to like watching this as well. It's absolutely brilliant. So there we go. There's some little memories of American theme tunes and sitcoms. A lot of you American, our American friends will know what we're talking about. But uh, these are some of the ones that really did make it over here in the UK. Okay, that's all for today. Another busy day. Um, but we'll be back tomorrow with a marathon. And we're back to doing the marathons tomorrow. And we're going to start off with a, a blues guitarist that made his first appearance on American TV at the age of 13. Playing blues like a, a pro. And that is the brilliant Joe Bonamassa. So we're going to be looking at his albums tomorrow. So everyone have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.